Dear friends and colleagues, no matter what you do or what you want to accomplish tomorrow, it always comes down to people. It always comes down to relationships you have with other folks, right? I recently drove four hours one way with a stop and traffic, it was more like five, but I drove four hours one way to Washington DC and then four hours back after I spent three days that were packed solid with vendor and partner and colleague meetings, roundtables, sessions, presentations, demos. Did I need that? Yeah, I actually did. Because you gotta look at yourself as an unfinished product. You keep improving and advancing every single day. You work on yourself and get better at what you do. And one of the best ways to keep doing that for yourself and your organization is to go out there and meet new people. And you're not going to do that sitting in an office. Go out there, talk to people, provide value, offer to present or speak at events. Obviously, stick to topics you know something about. But when it comes to major decisions, businesses investing, acquiring, merging with another company, investing in a product or service or a new startup, it always comes down to relationships and people. Yes, the quality of that product or service has to be a particular level, but even more important is who are the people leading that organization? Who's involved? Because that's how that other individual is going to make that decision on. You've heard this before, right? It's who you know, how you advance in business and in life. And that is true to a degree, but I would like to provide a different side uh, um, or a different view to that statement. It's even more important who knows you. Because if you know the right person and they don't believe in you, they don't see you as a leader, as a, so an operator, or someone who can execute on the plan, on a the goal they have, you're never going to get that call. So yes, it's important who you know, but it's even more importantly, who knows you and what are you known for. So get out there, go to events, speak to people, listen, ask questions, learn, network. That is something that one should never neglect. I don't care if you're currently a CEO of a major company, you're very profitable, you're doing well. Keep investing in relationships, in people. And if you're not, and you aspire to become one one day, that is even more important for you. So no matter what you do, no matter where you are on your business or career continuum today, on your timeline, always invest in meeting new people, learning, providing value, becoming visible in front of them at the right events at the right time. If you're a CFO, yes, learn as many people and meet as many people in your organization, but meet all the CFOs in your industry. Meet CFOs in seven other industries because there are things you can learn and bring back to your company, your organization and implement and improve for the benefits of everybody that works with you. So make sure, yes, always address your responsibilities. Make sure your work and your responsibilities are getting taken care of. But outside that, nights and weekends and days here and there, invest them in learning, getting out there, go to events, learn from others, ask questions, provide value, ask volunteer to speak at an event, obviously stick to the areas you know, because that is how you build your circle of, of connections or relationships, and they will all, directly or indirectly, impact and influence your path and your success, as well as the success and path that your current business takes. So no matter what you do, find a way to network and meet other people which is something you cannot do sitting behind your desk. Have a wonderful day, I wish you all the best. And as always, if this is the first video you see, please consider subscribing and sharing with your friends and colleagues. Have a great day.